When I was a kid, instead of carrying a, an iPhone or video game, I carried a rope everywhere I went. And if a dog came by or my little sister or brother, you know, they'd get roped. The way that we rope today really hasn't changed from the times that the vaqueros came up from, from Mexico. It's a tool that's used for taking care of cattle out on the range without having to bring them all the way into a set of pens somewhere to doctor them or, or to brand them. A lot of people think that how good you are depends on how well you can throw the loop. You know, that is an important part of it, but what's more important is being able to work within a herd, being able to move your horse perhaps half a step, um, being able to move the front part of your horse versus the back part, vice versa. If you have cattle that are gathered around a watering or gathered in a corner of a pasture, you want to be able to move through them and not jerk them around, not stress them, because they have family groups, they have mothers and, and progeny. And for example, you want to be able to work the edge of the herd and get the ones that are easy and then slowly work your way into the herd and get a calf. Part of the idea of roping is to, to do it in a minimally stressful way. Therefore, you don't want to just plow through the herd and without any regard to where everything is. There's a real art to it as well. I mean, not only is it practical, but it's, a, it's an artistic form that uh, many people take pride in. Not only being able to catch an animal and do it in a stressless manner, but to be able to do it um, in a beautiful way uh, that takes a, you know, an old tradition forward.